I you know a lot of times we go for the cleanups the volunteers are very skeptical of getting into the mangroves but when they see me getting into the mangroves when my team members join me in they also join us at the mangroves so I think you need to lead by an example In the last 226 weeks we've cleaned more than 65 lakh kilos of garbage from the city's coastline engaged more than 2 lakh 50000 citizens through our initiative Uh, my name is Malhar Kalambe. I'm 24 years old. I'm an environmentalist. I'm the founder of Beach Please. So Beach Please is basically a youth community by the youth and for the youth. We believe that the young people are the real change makers that can bring about the change in this uh, country or the world. Every weekend we organize cleanup drives uh, at the Meethi River Bank uh, and the mangrove forest at Airoli. Uh, influential people like Mr. Aditya Thakre, Jacqueline Fernandez, we had Sanya Malhotra, Bhumi Pednekar coming in for the cleanup drives and helping us join the cleanup drives. I think people like them when they come for the cleanup drive it really helps us reach out to more people because they have a wider audience to cater to. So I think that has helped us over the years now. why is there a difference between the beaches in mumbai and the beaches abroad i was having a conversation with my mother and i simply was complaining about the whole dirty beaches uh, in mumbai she simply said that you know if you think the beaches aren't clean just go and clean it it's as simple as that and that was something that really motivated me to start a clean up drive i started back in september 2017 So initially it was going to be a one time thing i called up my school friends i asked them to come and join me 20 of my friends joined me at the clean up drive we cleaned a part of the beach but the whole experience was really very satisfying so i thought of coming back the next weekend again and what started out as a school reunion has now turned out to be a youth movement A lot of people criticized the whole clean up movement you know like when I started it I was 19 a lot of people did not believe in my idea because I was too young so I have around 50 members in my team uh, most of the people that I started with the clean up drives are still a part of the clean up so it's not just me it's the team that is actually uh, responsible and you know should get the credit for the work that they have been doing because I have been the face but they have been the backbone of the whole campaign most of the groups or the municipal authority are putting in efforts behind cleaning up the beaches but i think if you clean up the mangrove ecosystem and the meethi river you do not have to clean the beaches because this is the source of the waste also getting in the mangroves is is difficult because it's a swamp there are snakes inside there are centipedes there are uh, micro, other kinds of creatures that could be dangerous you know So when we started with the cleanups there was not enough support for the mangrove cleanup but fortunately couple of months back we have signed an MOU with the Mangrove Foundation which is basically exclusively set up by the government of Maharashtra to conserve the mangrove systems ecosystems in Maharashtra so they have been really supporting us with the infrastructure the logistical support sometimes we get into the water which is still at chest you know chest level so that becomes difficult you know Also there is not much awareness regarding the mangroves people look at them just as uh, as trees you know but mangrove ecosystems absorb four times more carbon dioxide than any other tropical forest on this planet also these ecosystems are important for cities like mumbai and navi mumbai the coastal cities because they help us from the rising sea levels so there's a lack of awareness and that's what we're trying to do is create more awareness among the people regarding the mangroves we do organize sensitization programs with the schools and colleges uh, with the students we conduct workshops with them but we personally believe that environment is a subject which cannot be studied in a classroom it needs to be experienced we have had kids as young as 6 year olds coming for the clean up drives for a fact we know that they are not very effective in terms of cleaning the beach but they learn something out of the whole experience and they when they go back home they share the experience with their parents so when their parents are trying to use a single use plastic or doing something which is not environment friendly these kids are the ones that stop them from doing it so we also work with uh, uh, certain brands and help them move towards sustainability because the most prominent type of waste that we see during the clean up drives is basically packaging plastic waste uh, and i think brands and huge corporations that are trying to put in efforts and move towards sustainability need to be encouraged so that's what we're trying to do In 2018 uh, we received an award from the United Nations India called the V award the fun fact is i've never received an accolade before that so the first award that came in my life was from the UN so it was a huge thing in 2020 i had the opportunity to meet the honorable vice president of india 
Sri Venka and Naidu ji at his residence. So he basically felicitated the whole uh, efforts that we were putting in for environmental conservation. Consistency takes you to places where motivation can't take you to. There are days when there are just three or four of us coming and doing cleanup drives, but we always make sure that we go and do it. So we basically want to create an environment when the environment does not require protection. So uh, apart from cleanups, our goal is to basically clean up the ocean bed because, like I mentioned, there is a lot of marine litter inside the oceans. Uh, apart from that, we are also working with the state government, uh, and we want them to come up with policies that are more environment friendly. So I think uh, it's a cumulative effort that needs to come, and we are really working, hoping for it. So I think if we, if each one of us starts leading a more environmentally conscious lifestyle, uh, I think we can bring about the change that we are hoping for. Because we personally believe that if we are able to change the mindset of the young people, they can change the world.